We're going to um, learn the uh, healing love. Learn the healing love. The healing love involved with energy again. Okay? So in the microcosmic, we learn a few energies. One is the smiling energy, and one is the organs energy. We start with the joy and happiness. Okay? And we tap in that energy, and we draw the energy to circulate into the microcosmic. In the healing love, we involve with sexual energy. The sexual energy is one of the most talking about energy that we are in this period. Because they involve so much changes in the sexual energy in a very short moment. In a very short moment. That the people can be arousals and they change the energy in a very short moment. And that's how. So that's why the people, sometimes they don't understand it, but when they are sexual aroused, they change so much in that moment, and they just hook up, they just hook on. It's just like edit. And they just want to have that kind of arousal, or we call the orgasm energy. Now, many systems, all the systems, every single system in the whole world are dealing with or working or deal with sexual energy. Only they don't tell you truly or frankly, that's all. Because, so that's why a lot of time I, I born in, the Thai, in Thailand, which is a Buddhism country. Buddhism country. And um, when Buddha set up the system, he know, he know that the sexual energy is the most important energy that he have to deal with. So the only one, who, the, so the easy way to make sure the disciple follow them closely. So the easy way to make them separate from the world, become a monk. So when they get all the hair out and put on a yellow robe, the first thing they have to get away is the worry thing. All right? And the only one way of the worry thing they have to get out is the sex. The sex. So the monk cannot absolutely marry or have sex. In the microcosm, we talk a little bit about the seven holes that we have here. When you notice turn and smile inwardly, you seal the soul. But we have a big hole we call front door. Okay? If in the cold winter you try to open your front door for about a few hours and you're going to know what happened into your house. Alright? Now, this big door, they know it, have to seal it. So the easy way to, for them to, people to seal it is not marry, no sex. And that's the one, when you see it and you try to think high, the energy going to gradually draw from the base, go up to the head. And that is the only one way, easy way to do it. The whole goal that we're doing now is we want to get the energy up. We want to get the energy up. We want to get the energy all the way up. In this area, in this sexual area here, there lies so much energy here, the sexual energy. The sexual energy is the only energy that God empower us for creations. It's all, only. The power of creations, that's God empower us. Humans is the only creature in the whole world know how to enjoy sex anytime they want. And so that's why we are so clever and every single people want a sexy power. The sexual energy in what with personal power, in what with sexy power, in what with attraction power, and in what with magnetism power. You see? Now, 
Human is the only creature in the whole world, again, know how to make artificial sexy. Animals don't know how to do that. When they are sexual aroused, like spring, there's only one time they will attract male or female. There's only one time only. All right? But human, you, you know the business in the whole world that we're doing now, nearly more, most major business we're doing now is making people feel sexy. Right now. Hmm? What is the biggest business in a lady? Cosmetic. What the cosmetic do for a lady? Make it look beautiful and attraction, that right? And what the perfume doing? Huh? Like they have, I, I can't remember the name. One, one, one perfume they said, put it down and the people cannot forget you. So forget me not. Now you put it down and you walk, you walk across a man, a man will just turn your head and follow. Because the, the smell is so good. <laughs> the, <laughs> the animal, they don't have to do it, you know. When they produce them, they have hormone and smell out, and the male will follow. Yeah. That is how human only want to know. Dress. When the dress, no matter how much expensive, you buy it. Like the fashion show, sometimes you just don't believe. Just a, just a few pieces of, of cloth and cost so much money. <laughs> the less cloth that you make, the more money that it costs. <laughs> sometimes you look at a fashion show, it's not even half a yard that, that costs many thousand dollars. <laughs> and that's all. Because it make a person look sexy, people are willing to pay. When you say, hey, you eat this one, you make you sexy, like oyster, right? Mm -hmm. ah, raw oyster you eat, you make you sexy. People eat it. <laughs> I don't eat raw oyster, that's one thing I know. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's frightening me to eat them. <laughs> to raw. But uh, anything makes sexy, people do it. I remember when I was running a workshop in San Francisco, no, in San Diego one time, and we talk about this. And, and we said the people, human is only person, uh, only creature can know how to make artificial, sexy energy. So especially, some people like to be lady. They say, lady can make so beautiful. You have so many things to make the lady look beautiful. <laughs> Your jewelry, you have all kind of, of clothing, so many fashion of clothes, and so many things to make lady look beautiful. Uh, and uh, so lady like to put all kind of things in make it beautiful. So, this, uh, he said, so the man said, yes, right. You know, in the beginning, you look so beautiful. You put everything artificial on. And when they go together and they started to acquaint each other, when the lady take out all the artificial, look at it. My God, what's that? <laughs> no more attractions. <laughs> because the artificial that they put on, when they take it out, is no more. Now, if a person wants personal power, <coughs> mean attractions. Everything we do in the whole world now is personal power. Or we call it personal magnetism. A personal magnetism is the sexual energy. That's all. It's a sexual energy. Make you have more personal magnetism. They've been discovered a lot of success people is very sexy, active. But they know how to use the energy into the business, not into the sex. And the success. That is how they've been studied a lot now. Now, the personal power is come from the sexual energy. And attraction power is come from the sexual energy. So, but the people don't want to pay attention to where it comes from. Or people forgot it. The, sex, the personal power or sexual power or sex, sexy energy is tell the name there, right? Have to come from where? From the sexual organs, right or not? Alright? So the whole thing we're going to do this in this uh, Healing Love Seminar is how to exercise the sexual organ. American is sex, uh, American is exercise crazy. But uh, when I first teach this thing, uh, sometimes people cannot take it. You know? <laughs> cannot take it. Because in a while we exercise the sexual organs. Oh, what's that? You know? But when they talk about exercise, talking, running, oh, that's good. But in a thousand, they say, 
The most important part in your body is the sexual organs. It's so important. You, you work with it, you use it all the time. They discuss, they've been make a research. They said, um, every day our body has to produce a sexual hormone and this sexual hormone have to travel up into the brain and trigger up and trigger on the on the pineal gland and pituitary gland have to trigger the pineal and pituitary gland and tell your body tell the gland that you still active now they discover now the sexual hormone is the one that determines how strong you are now in a thousand we discover that we in our life we are producing so much sexual hormone so much <coughs> and men we quickly out that men are producing so much as a sexual a sperm so each time a man ejaculation consists of 200 to 500 million sperms. Okay. Now they have been studied and they have a bank. They call sperm bank. So they try to keep the sperm of a man there. So in case anything happen or the world happen, if they have a sperm bank they can get the sperm and produce the whole world again. Okay? But one thing they never figured out that one ejaculation of a man consists of 200 to 500 million sperm. And each sperm can be a, a human, right or not? Right or not? Right? Each sperm can be a human, so that means one ejaculation of one man can build up if they have enough eggs to do it they can make 200 million person look like the guy but they haven't figured out <laughs> <laughs> but they haven't figured out where they're going to get 200 million eggs to do that <laughs> they have to figure out that way you know <laughs> now so you see how much power how much power go into that every time when <coughs> So that in a thousand, they say a man can have about five, approximately, five thousand ejaculation in their life. About, approximately. Okay? Some people more and some people less. So, but each time, you see how much power go into that. In the, in the Western size, when they take the sperm and they, and they analyze it, oh, nothing. You have the sperm, you have Enzyme, twist mineral, protein, that's all. <laughs> pure, there is a pure protein inside that. And that's all. But they haven't go deep into say, the energy produced a human out, which no scientist can make it. That right? Scientists cannot build life. Scientists can do many kinds of very com complicated things, but cannot build life. The energy that stays in the sperm. And that is what we are working on. Or the energy that in the eggs that we are working on, we call the most powerful creating power or the most powerful healing power is in the sperm. Now, every time when you engage in sex, the energy multiply. The energy multiply. You have to understand, I'm going to go through back and forth uh, many times talking about the sexual energy. When a person's sexual arouse, the first thing is the senses have to contribute energy. Is that right? When you sexual arouse, the first thing you look or you smell or you see or you feel something and you sexual arouse. So in a thousand, they go into very deep. When you sexual arouse, your senses we receive the energy and you activate the, the, the sexual around. So they said the senses have to give energy, first thing. The next thing, the brain have to contribute the energy. Because in the body, they don't know. M human is only person, uh, only creature know how to enjoy sex. In the animal, when they have sex, all they know is to have a species pass on. So every time you know, our body still don't know also, 
every time in our body, the body, the, the organ, they don't know. When we have sex, the body think that, hey, he's going to make a baby. You see? They say, hey, you're going to make a baby. So, all they have to do, every single system have to contribute the best energy. So the eyes, the senses will produce the best energy, and the brain will try to give the best energy, and the glands have to give energy, and the organs have to give the energy to the sexual center. To the sexual center. Okay? And that is the combine of the sexual energy. The combine of the sexual energy. We call arousal sexual energy. So it's very, un if you understand this part, you're going to understand a lot. Arousal energy <coughs> consists of senses, consists of brain energy, consists of organ energy, consists of gland energy, plus the sexual energy. All plus together. When they are coming and combined together, they build a special energy called arousal sexual energy. Or we call it the orgasm energy. Is that right? And people are so hooked up with the arousal energy. Because when the people are aroused, the body changes. Right now. For lady, physical changes. Men, it's a lot of physical changes you can see. Right away something happened. Now, because of that, people so hook up on. And the purpose of sex, what is the real purpose of sex? Hmm? Is to have baby, right or not? Right or not? Right? See? The purpose of sex is to have baby. That's why we have to try to find any way to prevent, don't have baby. <laughs> right or not? We try to fight every single mean in the whole world to stop, don't have baby. So we have what? Condom. We have pill to disturb the mentations. So make sure the egg don't come out. So you don't have baby. All right? And try to figure out a time, when can I have sex don't I, so my wife don't get pregnant. So we figure out a time very strictly. Now, in a Taoism they say, hey, if you really want sex and you don't want to have baby, you no need to, for, we talk about men first, you no need to ejaculations. What is the purpose of ejaculations? People are so mixed up now. Especially young people, they're so mixed up. They think that when they have sex, they must ejaculations. And this is a big, big concept and big chain in America. Why? You can have sex, you can enjoy orgasm, but you no need to ejaculations. There's a two different whole world of things you know, in there. Ejaculation is one thing, orgasm is one thing. People want orgasm, but because the ejaculation is the downturn of orgasm. Here the orgasm go up to high, high, high. When you get the peak, they turn down to be ejaculation. But during the, when you turn down, you have ejaculation, you bring the orgasm to the peak. So the peak and the downturn, they're confused. Is that right? We're confused. The peak and the downturn, this thing, oh, ejaculation is the one that big to the peak, the peak. But because go to the peak and you ejaculation. It's just downturn. The downturn of it. The peak of it and come down. Now, in a thousand they said, the orgasm, nature have to have orgasm. Otherwise, people, if we only have ejaculation, nobody going to have sex. I tell you. If the nature only give us ejaculation and no orgasm, nobody going to want to have sex at all. You, you see the point? Why? The nature want you to have more baby, so they try to build you have orgasm. And this is the hook, to hook you in. You see? <laughs> and you get our hook by ejaculation, and as you get your our hook. <laughs> No? And you have baby. <laughs> now, that is the purpose of the whole thing. Now, if you don't want to have baby, you can have orgasm this way. In, um, we believe that in the beginning of the human, we can control ejaculations. Every people can know how to do it without learning. 
Mipho can do it. Sex can be beginning of all the good energy, all the great master, all the good great saint, all the immortal in the, uh, in, in the world, because they know how to utilize and transform and recycle the sexual energy, they become immortal, they become holy man, they become great saint, they become great master. The only different thing is this, if they let the sexual energy go out this way, they lose the energy. If they let the sexual energy come in this way, return it in, they have more energy. Now, with this one, the energy multiplies. So, if the people using in a wrong way, if they have a bad thought, anger, you say anger, it will multiply the anger. Is that? It multiply anger. But if you have kindness, you know what happened? It's multiply the kindness. You see, the difference is this, can be evil or good. It's so, it's so incredible, the power. But people always hear about bad news. Oh, that guy being raped and being killed. And, oh my God, that is sex. So we always, always heard the, the thing that crime and sex always go together. All right? Drug and sex always go together. But the good thing, we don't hear about it. We don't hear about good thing. Okay? A lot of great masters, they know how to utilize the sexual energy. They become incredible power. But when we go to see the nun, or the, or the cardinal, or the nuns, or, or the father or sister, they don't touch sex. So they, it seems like they don't utilize any sex at all. Is that right? But no, they are the person using the sexual energy the most. They are the person using the sexual energy the most. Why? Because when become a father or sister or a nun, the first thing what they do, what they do, they seal the hole. Is that right? They seal this hole. Absolutely, you cannot, you cannot go around and have sex. You're not gonna see a father going around and have sex with somebody, right now. With the thing they have, they maybe have some. You don't know that. Right? <laughs> That's what you say, but. <laughs> At least they're not going to be openly, that right? You're not going to go to see a, a, a monk go into a, 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 a have sex or anything. No, they may be not openly, but they can, they are not to do it because with the way they do, the first thing they have to seal this opening, close, right away, close here. Make sure the sexual energy don't go out. And when they pray to God, or when they think about God. Uh, God does uh, anything in the head, or deity, or everything right on the head. So if they think something on the head, you know what happens when you think in the head? You eventually going to draw the energy from the base, go up to the head. Right or not? Hmm? You eventually going to draw the energy to the head. And that is the whole purpose. So a lot of time, a region they don't tell you. They don't tell you, Think God in here, pray to God, everything to God, everything up, up, up here. One day, if you sit enough, pray enough, four, five, six, seven, eight hours a day, maybe four, or five, six, seven, or eight, eight or ten years, the energy one day shh, go up and you reach attainment, a light to the head. And that is the goal. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to open this channel all the way up to the head. All the way up to the head. And the next chat, so, so the next part we're going to learn is the door of life and the T11. We're going to use T11 only. But we'll learn the door of life. And we're going to, the next part is C7. And the next part is the base of the scout, right on here. And the next part is the crown. Okay? So now, uh, we're going to learn the point by point. So, the energy in the sexual energy is depending how you're going to use it. Oftentimes now people have so much misperceptions about sex. They think sex is evil. Sex can be evil if people using and multiply the negative energy. Sex can be good if people using good energy. So when you learn this course, it's incredible. You're going to see how powerful can multiply. We say make love. Is that right? 
what the meaning of how the meaning that making love from? You're producing more love. You can love the whole world when you're making love. But at the same time, when you when you make love, you also can make kindness. You also can make gentleness. You also can produce loveliness energy. But if you have hatred inside, or if you have anger inside, if you multiply hatred, if you multiply anger, if you multiply incredible fear, they say men when lose the sperm, they're producing fear. And so much fear coming out. When a person started to rape, uh, uh, they, when they want to rape somebody, the first thing, they have a wrong idea and bad emotion already. Alright? So when they rape, what happened? The negative energy multiply and the first thing they get is fear. The first thing they get is fear. And the fear, once the fear multiply, it's going to be multiply anger. And when the anger multiply, it's going to multiply hatred. And when the hatred multiply, it's going to multiply cruelty. So we start in hurting the person or killing a person. And oftentimes, when this energy multiply, the guy just out of the mind, become animals. And after they kill or hurt a person, he says, Oh my God, I don't tend to at all. I not really no tend to to hurt it. They regret. But in that moment, the energy multiplies too much. They don't have to do it. In olden time, oftentimes, the people don't understand. The masters of masters don't understand really how to handle the sexual energy. The only thing is that when you do microcosmic and seeking sound in the smile, you get in touch with all the good energy. And when you sexual arouse, you multiply the energy. You're going to have so much good energy in a very short time. That's all. So understand the thing what you do in the most important part.